live to our reporter, correspondent there, Sarah Kimani. Thanks very much for joining us, Sarah. Um, so it's been quite a day for Kenya and uh, all the drama playing out at the airport. Take us through what happened. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kenya Airways has released a statement indicating uh, that two passengers en route to uh, Johannesburg uh, via uh, uh, one of their flights uh, said that there was a bomb uh, in the plane. And so uh, police uh, security officials decided to ground that plane. Uh, but when it was noticed that it was actually a fake alarm, uh, the two were arrested and are now in custody. However, all the planes coming in and out of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport uh, were stopped from landing or taking off uh, as that was being investigated. Uh, the airport, therefore, was temporarily closed for several hours. Uh, planes and, uh, have now just started landing and taking off uh, about an hour ago. All right, yeah, you can't be too careful. What do we know about uh, the, the person arrested for this bomb scare and the motive, maybe? Uh, we still do not know their identities. Uh, uh, police keeping their identities uh, close to their chest. However, it is important to say that there is a leaked memo uh, doing rounds, and indeed uh, the managing director of uh, the Kenya Airport Authority has uh, indicated and agreed that uh, a, a memo leaked uh, this morning uh, onto social media sites and has been circulating on WhatsApp, uh, indicating that the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is actually on high security alert uh, during the Easter period because it is believed that uh, uh, one uh, faction of the Al-Shabaab militant group may actually uh, try to sneak in explosives probably tied onto vehicles into uh, the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. And so uh, at the entrance, uh, security has been heightened. Uh, secu vehicle uh, security checks have also been heightened uh, following uh, this alert. All right, so this isn't the first uh, incident that's happened at, uh, uh, at the Jomo Kenyatta Airport. We've had fires there. But I would, uh, I mean, I've been there a few times and security normally is uh, quite intense anyway. So uh, it would have been difficult to get a bomb there. But I suppose the authorities have got to take every th threat seriously. Yes, they have. Uh, remember, Kenya is on high security alert uh, following... Uh, the abduction of two Cuban doctors early this week uh, at the border with Somalia in Mandera. And it's also uh, a time of festivities. We, it is known that uh, every time festivities are on, uh, Kenya increases its security operations because uh, of the security situation between the borders with Somalia. Uh, this also coming uh, just uh, two months or three months almost since the attack at uh, the Riverside attack. Uh, where several people died. And so Kenya is always on high security alert. And the airport is quite a security installation. Remember, it connects uh, not just Kenya, but uh, the rest of Africa to the world. So uh, such uh, a scare will, of course, be taken very seriously. And Kenya Airways themselves, uh, what have they been saying? Well, all they're saying is that uh, the two gentlemen have uh, been arrested and that uh, they are going to continue uh, investigations, but also that uh, uh, the airport uh, and all their planes are now undergoing a serious security checks before they take off. All right, Sarah, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, that was uh, our reporter Sarah Kimani reporting uh, live from Nairobi in Kenya, where a Kenya Airways plane was uh, forced to abort takeoff after a bomb scare uh, by uh, one of the passengers is now in custody. I believe it could be more than one. Uh, but uh, after a long delay, all flights are now taking off and landing safely at Jomo Kenyatta Airport.